Uh, the difference between IR and RF, IR stands for infrared and RF radio frequency, uh, is that uh, those are technologies that are used in remote controls. Uh, they're divided mainly to IR remotes and RF remotes. IR remote required to be in line of sight with the device you're going to be controlling. IR is light being emitted from the remote to the device. Uh, it's a light uh, frequency that we cannot see as humans. Uh, it's convenient because it's uh, directivity. You aim the remote at the device you want to control, for example, TV. And we're not expected to uh, be controlling your TV when you're not in front of it. So it makes sense. Uh, RF device, RF remotes, um, can control devices without the need for line of sight because RF, radio frequency energy, can basically propagate through walls and through other subjects, as long as they're not metal. Uh, and in our homes, most of our homes are not made of metal, and therefore, for example, ceiling fan or garage door, your garage door is closed, you're driving into your driveway, there is no line of sight between you in the car, through the garage door and the garage door opener. So that's a, a classic case for RF. You click the remote, the RF signal goes through your uh, windshield, through your garage door, and uh, being received at the garage door receiver, and then the garage door responds. Uh, so that's the main difference between IR and RF. In the context of remote control, because of their cost and their relatively low-cost remotes that are controlling low-cost devices such as ceiling fans and garage doors, um, they are using uh, low-frequency proprietary RF. And um, proprietary means that every manufacturer makes it their own remote with their own control scheme. And that's why up until now there was no device that was able to aggregate the control of all these devices. There's no one big database that contains all this information. And low frequency, because low frequency travels longer distances than high frequency and also cheaper to make. Uh, and these devices can utilize low frequency because they don't need a lot of information. The information we're sending when we are hitting the remote button is basically on off. It's a sequence of a few bits, but we're not sending audio, we're not sending uh, video. So it's not heavy load of data, so that's why low frequency is such a perfect fit. Uh, range, price, and uh, data payload that is uh, actually uh, very small.